Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to look at high dynamic range images inside of Lightroom. But first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our website. I photographed a wedding recently at this barn, and when I took these images, I used exposure bracketing, which I've detailed in a previous video. Now I would like to combine these images to get the exposure that makes sense for the sky, as well as the exposure that makes sense for the barn. I'm going to press D in order to enter the develop module, and then command or control A to select all of these images. And then we'll go to photo in the file menu, photo merge, and HDR. We'll see that Lightroom is creating this HDR preview. Now this is really interesting because when this was first introduced into Lightroom several versions ago, it was not native to Lightroom. That is, when you ran this, it actually jumped over to Photoshop and then brought you back into Lightroom. Well now this stays completely and exclusively inside of Lightroom, which is really nice. Now of course inside of Lightroom, there aren't as many options as there are inside of Photoshop. However, I feel like Lightroom does a pretty good job. And I'm just going to leave these defaults selected, which are the auto align, auto tone, and none for the D ghost amount. And when I bracketed this exposure, I stood very still and tried to keep the composition the same. So Lightroom probably had a pretty easy time at aligning those pixels, but no worries because Lightroom is pretty smart. It can figure it out and then go ahead and choose merge. And if we step through these bracketed images and then land on the end result, Lightroom did a pretty good job. I think I would like to enhance that sky a little bit further by pressing M on the keyboard in order to grab the graduated filter tool. I'm going to pull down on the exposure a little bit and down on the temperature just to add some more blue. Click and drag and then I can adjust those settings as I see fit. But I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to press M to drop that tool and we're all set. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.